What is the number of revolutions a wheel of diameter 40 cm makes in traveling a distance of 176 meters? Now we have been given the diameter of this wheel. In other words, we have been given the diameter of the circle. D is equals to 40. Now the radius is half of the diameter. So therefore R will be equals to half of 40 is 20 centimeter. Now let us calculate how much distance this circular wheel moves when it completes one revolution. Now to understand that consider this point. When this wheel completes one revolution this point goes a complete round and comes back to its original position. In other words this point has traveled the circumference of the circle and in that process this wheel while it makes one revolution it has traveled a distance equal to its own circumference. Okay, So let us first find out what is the circumference of this circle. So circumference is equal to 2 pi r so that is equal to 2 into 22 by 7 times the radius is 20. Okay. So 22 times 2 is 44, 44 times 20 is 880 by the 7. So this is the circumference. So in one revolution the distance traveled is 880 by 7 centimeter. This is centimeter. Now we have been asked in how many revolutions, that means the number of revolutions which are required to travel a distance of 176 meters. So 176 meters can be written as 17600 centimeters. Okay, cross multiply and equate and get the value of x. So we have x times 880 by 7 is equals to 17600. So x is equals to 17600 divided by 880 times 7. This 0, this 0 gets cancelled out. 1760 divided by 11 gives you 160 and 88 divided by 11 gives you 8 and 8 times 20 is 160. So we have x is equals to 7 times 20 that is 140. So the total number of revolutions is 140. Option A. The wheel of a motorcycle 70 centimeters in diameter makes 40 revolutions in every 10 seconds. What is the speed of the motorcycle in kilometers per hour? So the diameter of this wheel is 70 centimeters. So the radius will be equals to half of the diameter that's 35 centimeter. Let's convert this into meters so this will be 0.35 meters. So we've got the radius now this wheel of the motorcycle makes 40 revolutions in every 10 seconds. So the distance traveled in 10 seconds will be equal to the number of revolutions times the distance traveled in one revolution. Now what is the distance traveled in one revolution? It is the circumference of the circle. So 40 times the circumference is 2 pi r. So 2 into 22 by 7 into r that's 0 0.35. 7 times 0 0.05 gives you 0 0.35. So this can be written as 40 times 2 times 22 times 0 0.05 can be written as 5 by 100. Okay, This 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. 5 times 2 is 10 and this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So what remains is 22 times 4 that is 88 and this will be in meters. Now we want the speed of the motorcycle in kilometers per hour. Well let us calculate the speed. So speed is equal to distance upon time. Now the distance is 88 meters traveled in 10 seconds. So this is equal to 88 by 10 and that's 8.8 .8. and what will be the unit? Well this is meters and this is seconds. So meters per second but we want the speed in kilometers per hour. So to convert that you'll have to multiply it by 18 by 5 and that will be in kilometers per hour. So if you solve it you'll get 31.68 kilometers per hour. 
So the answer is option C. A circular park has a path of uniform width around it. The difference between the outer and the inner circumferences of the circular path is 132 meters. What is the width of the path? Let the radius of the outer circle be R2 and the radius of the inner circle be R1. Well, what will be the length of this width? Well, R2 minus R1. And this is what we have to find. Now, what has been given? Well, the difference between the outer circumference and the inner circumference of the circular path is given as 132. So, I can write C2 minus C1 is 132. What is C2? C2 is 2 pi R2. So, 2 pi R2 minus what is C1? C1 is 2 pi R1 is equals to 132. Taking 2 pi common, I have 2 pi times R2 minus R1. Okay, now we have to find what is R2 minus R1 and that will be the width of the path. It is equals to 132. So, R2 minus R1 is equals to 132 divided by 2 pi. Okay, what is pi? Pi is 22 by 7. So, this will be 132 times 7 by 2 times 22. 22 times 6 is 132 and 2 times 3 is 6. So, 3 times 7 that's 21 meters. So, this will be the width of the circular path. So, option B. What will be the area of a semicircle whose perimeter is 36 centimeters? So, this is our semicircle. What will be the length of this red line? Well, that's the diameter. So, twice r will be its length. Now, what will be the length of this curved line, the black one? Well, that's the half of the circumference of the full circle. So, what is half of the circumference? That's 2 pi r divided by 2. So, that is pi r. Now, we have been given the perimeter of this semicircle. So, I can write pi r plus 2 r is equals to 36. Okay. So, 22 by 7 r plus 2 r is equals to 36. Right. So, 22 r plus 7 to the 14 r is equals to 36 times 7. Right. So, 22 plus 14 is 36 r is equals to 36 times 7. This 36 and this 36 cancels out. We have r is equals to 7 centimeter. Now that we've got the value of r, we can calculate what is the area of this semicircle. Well, the area of this semicircle will be definitely the half of the area of the full circle. So we have area is equals to pi r square divided by 2. This is equals to 22 by 7 times 7 times 7 that's r square upon 2. Right. So this 7 and this 7 cancels out. We have 22 times 7 by 2 and 2 times 11 is 22. Now 11 times 7 and that is equal to 77 centimeter square. Right. So none of our options have 77 centimeter square. So none of these would be the appropriate choice.